<laughs> so we've already spoken about this, but anyway, we'll go back again. <laughs> uh, the Brave Code. So I think um, Ladders and Trampolines was really trying to tell a story about where I was at that part of my life. Um, it was anecdotes, it was stories, it was uh, what I thought was important for young people to think about when it comes to leadership um, and the challenges that they face. So it was really um, a collection of thoughts, right? And uh, the idea around the collection of thoughts is they should come to life, they should give birth to actions. And I think uh, Brave Code is, is that. It's uh, the last uh, three years I've spent at, uh, at the Brave Group. Um, in, uh, in my current operational role and obviously the five-year journey where we've been invested in this business. So as the, as the CEO now moving forward, my, uh, my real passion is about taking some of those ideas from ladders and trampolines and building them into something that's tangible so that young people can look at it and uh, hopefully uh, gain value from it in their own spaces. But more importantly, is put some of those ideas and those thoughts and those ramblings into practice. So the Brave Code really is trying to make sure that uh, everything that I'm learning I'm able to teach to other people and uh, it, uh, it's captured in this idea around shared value. So uh, those ideas are, uh, are now impacted a little bit more. Uh, those ideas are explored and I take various different inspirations uh, to hopefully bring them to life. Uh, so that's how I've tried to build on uh, ladders and trampolines. My first love, as we've said. <laughs> Great question. What have I learned about bravery? You know, bravery, and it also happened when we were doing our rebrand. So House of Brave is our legacy business at, uh, at the Brave Group. And when we were going through the process of rebranding House of Brave, we worked with a really amazing creative shout out to, to Sheldon at Hale Group. Um, and he had a really fantastic exploration of this idea on bravery. And it's something I'd been struggling to articulate uh, because you can feel it, but to express it is really difficult. And he went down a journey of exploration where he said, bravery is fundamentally about discomfort. Right? If you are feeling discomfort, you're in a brave space. If you're feeling like things are just going swimmingly, then you're likely not in a brave space. You're likely in a place where you're in a holding pattern where things just work. So bravery is about discomfort. It's about the edge. It's about feeling like things are not, you know, you don't know where it's going to go. Um, if you've ever, you know, played sport or you've ever been in a situation where the stakes are high, that space where you feel uncomfortable, that's the window, that's bravery. And so it's really challenging. Because that means that when you wake up every single day and you think about the role you have to come and play, it means that you have to occupy the space of discomfort. You have to own the space of discomfort. And you have to get comfortable with the space of discomfort. So, so bravery for me, um, if, I'm, if I'm to kind of articulate it, is, is getting comfortable with the discomfort that comes with growth and pushing. Uh, and so part of what we have to do um, is codify the things that we've learned so that the people that come after us understand that it's okay. Right? The challenge we have often as young people is when we encounter discomfort, we go, nah, it's not for us. Right? But in my view, that's where, that's where bravery happens. Right? It's being, as they say. Right? Warriors are the ones that go into a place of discomfort. People who have got high stakes and high um, risks on the line, they go into a place of discomfort and they, dis they, um, they display and exhibit bravery. So for me, it's really about that. It's getting comfortable with the discomfort. Yeah, I can. Um, so it's, it, you know, the, the, the thing for me is that how can, we, how can we create scale out of our learnings, right? And the idea around codifying something is, uh, has become quite, uh, uh, quite important for me. Codifying something means you've, you've understood it sufficiently to be able to articulate it in a way that someone can use it. So that's codifying something. That says, um, I've understood the, the theory of relativity of, as Einstein and I can now create an equation for someone else to understand it, right? That's codifying. It is being able to pick up you know, a laptop and, uh, and, and create a website because someone has developed code that's come before you. That's codifying. It's running a great business that scales to be a billion dollar company because of specific things that you've decided to do. That's, that's codifying. So the idea on codifying is taking and translating what's in my head onto paper. Um, and, then, and then lastly, the idea on bravery. How do we take the idea of bravery and translate it into something that people can run with? So the name, The Brave Code, is really taking those two ideas and saying that if you really want to live a life of, uh, of, of, of excellence, if you want to be you know, comfortable with the discomfort, uh, the brave code is one way that you can take that and hopefully scale it in your personal space and hopefully in your life as well. There are a few, probably the opening and the closing. Um, the opening is called Chapter Zero. And Chapter Zero was written by the founders of House of Brave, um, and uh, in particular by 
our former Chief Creative Officer, Vanessa Pearson. Uh, chapter zero was almost an afterthought in the beginning, but it became the most critical part of the story for me because part of our journey as, uh, as the Brave Group has been from going uh, from an established, uh, small, uh, traditional agency into a future-focused business that's starting to solve for shared value and building creativity uh, using shared value. So chapter zero is really, really impactful. Number one, it's written beautifully. Uh, Vanessa Pearson is a writer, so she wrote it in such a poetic uh, way and, the, and she expressed the journey in terms of where this all began. And for me, I really enjoyed reading that because it pays credence, it pays homage. It says, hey, you know, we know where we've come from. Um, but similarly, it's, a, it's almost a handing over of the baton, uh, which I thought was quite, uh, quite nice. So I, I love chapter zero. Um, and then the last chapter, which is the call to action, is the throw forward. Um, you know, why write all these books? Why do all of this stuff? If you remember correctly, it's about making sure that people have got something they can take forward. Uh, so the last chapter for me is really, really important because it says, now that you have this information, now that we've created a way for you to think about your business differently, what is it that you need to do? And so I had a lot of discussions with the guys at B Corp around what it means to start becoming um, a B Corp organization that's thinking about the various aspects of your business with a future uh, lens in mind, with sustainability in mind, with diversity in mind. Um, and so that for me is a really great throw forward to where everything is evolving to not only in creative businesses, um, but across the world. Right, so so those are the two favorite chapters. Everything in the middle is great. I think it's all wonderful, but I think those uh, they summarize uh, very well uh, both the journey in terms of where we've come from and where I think this is going. And you know, it's a little bit of a throw forward to my next book.